Hey guys, it's Ari back again with another. <laughs> video today i'm coming to you on the fourth of july because it's the fourth i decided to rock my little dashiki today because you know but yeah um today i'm coming to you with a high school experience video i told you guys to send me questions on snapchat if you don't follow me on snapchat you should because they get all the juice like they get all the info and if you don't you'll be missing out so follow me on snapchat i asked you guys on snapchat I asked the snapchat fam to send me um questions for this video and i got a lot of them guys like a lot so i don't know if i'm gonna cut some out or not but we'll see i just don't want the video to be too long and y'all to get bored so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and answer these questions right now if you like videos like this go ahead and like this video up subscribe if you're new and let's just get right into it okay so the first question is does freshman year determine how well you will do for the rest of your high school no it does not because from my experience freshman year was actually my poorest year academically i got a lot of c's actually no actually sophomore year was my poorest year academically but freshman year i got some c's and um as y'all know now that i'm in college i have straight a's i have a 4.0 in college then back in high school freshman year i had like a 2.7 gpa so no i do not think that freshman year determines your academic uh progress throughout your whole high school career because um, second semester, sophomore year, and beyond, I got straight A's. So I feel like I got bad grades freshman year because I wasn't mature enough. My head w w just wasn't in the right space. I was focused on different things. I was focused on like trying to be cool, stuff like that, which I don't even know why I was focused on that because I wasn't gonna fit in regardless. I'm just different. And also I did not know how to study. I admit, I did not know how to study. Y'all saw my study tips video. I've clearly learned how to study since then. Um, but yeah, I didn't know how to study so that's another reason that played into me having bad grades freshman year So if you do have bad grades freshman year, don't think that your whole high school is just gonna be jacked up because it's not First high school fight. I've actually never gotten into a fight in high school I don't even think I've ever been put in that situation to where like somebody wanted to fight me Well, probably somebody wanted to fight me, but they never like went about it that way, you know, so I'm different. I'm always have haters, so I'm pretty sure somebody wanted to fight me, but they wasn't about that life. So the next question is, did you ever have problems figuring out who your true friends were? Yes. Um, I feel like that happened senior year though. Cause senior year I ended up meeting a lot of new people that I didn't talk to the rest from the beginning of my high school because the beginning of my high school career I was like I was just weird. Like y'all don't understand. I was weird. I was weird to everybody else, but I was doing my own thing. So ended up meeting a lot of people senior year simply because like I just came to accept the fact that I was weird and people saw that and so they wanted to be my friend. Through meeting new people, I had to figure out who actually had my back. And I did figure out who actually had my back. And it was probably people that I could count on one hand. And <laughs> That's how it's gonna be for everybody. Like they're like everybody knows that in high school, freshman year, you just have this big old squad. Like I had a big squad freshman year. Senior year, can count on my hand how many people I actually talked to. And it's because people ended up fake, people ended up you you saw people's tendencies over the years, you know? The next question was what actions do you regret the most and how did it impact you? What were your greatest accomplishments? I really don't regret anything that much from high school. I just really see high school as a big learning experience. Like it wasn't, I didn't make any mistakes that was like, oh my God, I regret this so much. I, if, I, if anything, it would be my grades freshman and beginning of sophomore year because I wasn't, my head wasn't on straight, but it, I understand why my grades that way. It's because I wasn't mature. So I don't know. I was like a late bloomer, y'all. The next question is, did boys think you were cute? Of course they thought I was cute. You girl over here got the juice, I'm playing. But yeah, boys thought I was cute. But here's the thing, y'all. I dated my ex that y'all like saw my other videos. I dated my ex basically freshman to junior year in the beginning of senior year. So I had a boyfriend my basically my whole high school career. So with that being said, even though boys thought I was cute, they wasn't about to like approach me with that because they knew, everybody knew, everybody knew me and my ex dated. Everybody knew that. Everybody knew that. We were just, you saw me, you saw him, you saw him, you saw me. That's how it was. Yeah, there were people that thought I was cute and then they ended up coming out about it. 
senior year that they thought I was cute when I was single, but they didn't come out about it when I was dating the person that I was dating. So, yeah. Uh -huh. The next question is, for senior year, did you have more freedom or is it all a lie? By the way, I really think it just depends on your parents because I didn't have any more freedom, I don't think. No, my parents are still strict. They still strict today. They're gonna always be strict. <laughs> I'm playing, they're not really strict today. Like, it's because like what they gonna do? Like, I'm in college, like, they just tell me what I should be doing and then let me, and then just watch back and see what I do. And I feel like I've been making them proud, but senior year, I was still on lockdown. The most freedom I ever had was prom. Like, that was the most freedom I ever had, but anything else, like I really couldn't go to parties. I did go to like a couple, but I really didn't go to parties. I really didn't go out and hang out like that. Y'all don't understand, I'm their only daughter. Like, I am the middle child of two boys. Like, that's why they were so strict. They, they were just strict towards me. All right, so the next question is, um, how did you go into senior year? Were you prepared? I'm about to be a senior year. Yes, I did go into senior year prepared. Junior year, I made sure that I did everything like tech in the SAT, ACT, and all of that. Um, I did that stuff extremely early, um, and I took multiple tests. I also had a lot of AP classes in my background since sophomore year. I started taking AP classes in my sophomore year, and then they all added up. Senior year, I had a total of eight AP classes. I don't know. I just prepared myself. It wasn't even like um, it wasn't even like my parents had to tell me to prepare myself. I just knew in my head that I, for myself, I wanted to go to college, so I prepared myself to do so. I looked up colleges myself, what college I want to go to. I applied for all my colleges myself. I did everything pretty much myself. And it wasn't even like um, I saw somebody else do it. I just I just figured it out. I was prepared for college, I feel like. Oh, and this person said they're about to be a senior. Congrats, girl, you're almost out of high school, yes. The next question is, how many colleges did you apply to? Oh, they have multiple questions in here, let me. Okay, whew. They said, how many colleges did you apply to? I applied to Auburn, LSU, UGA, Auburn, LSU, UGA, Georgia State, and Kennesaw. I got into all except for UGA. I got put on UGA's wait list and eventually they said that they would not accept me because they were over capacity. So technically I didn't even get denied. They just said they was over capacity. So <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> the next question that they asked was, um, did you tour colleges? Yes, I toured UGA Spelman. I wanted to go to Spelman, surprisingly. Sophomore year and junior year, I had my mindset on Spelman. But I visited their school. I t I'm pretty sure I told this on my live streams and other times. I visited, I visited Spelman, did not like it because, no, I liked it all the way up until the tour guide told me that they did not have AC in the freshman dorms and that I would be paying $45,000 a year. I was like, that's it, I'm done. Everything was cool up until you said that. So what am I paying $45,000 for? The name? No ma'am. <laughs> yeah, uh, I toured Spelman, I toured UGA. I already knew what Georgia State looked like and I toured Kennesaw because even though everybody know, thinks they knows what Kennesaw looks like, Kennesaw has grown massively. When I came to Kennesaw, I just felt at home. That's how I felt, I felt an at home feeling. And I also want, really wanted to go to UGA if I would've got accepted, but when I went there, I really kinda didn't even feel a home feeling. I kinda actually felt isolated and I I didn't really like it, but you know, it's UGA, so it's not really much to dislike, you know? But yeah, I felt the home feeling when I visited Kennesaw. Everybody was just so nice and it was so diverse, and I was like, yes, this is what's up. Oh, I kinda answered the next question. It was like, how do you know? How did you know Kennesaw State University was for you? Number one, the dorms were dope. Like, look at it, I live in an apartment, and um, the price was right. It's not an expensive school, it's pretty good, it's a pretty good deal. And um, everybody's just so nice, it was diverse. I wanted to go to a diverse school, because that's what the real world is like. You're gonna be working with different people, you know? I wanna go to a diverse school, and everybody's just really nice, and I got a good vibe from the professors. The class sizes aren't too bad. There are 200, um, there are classes where there's 200 people, but those classes, they're not even the hard classes, so. Do you recommend Kennesaw State University to others? Yes, yes, yes. I do recommend my school to others simply because there's so many opportunities, so many clubs, so many things you can get involved in, so many scholarship scholarship opportunities. The dorms are lit. The people are lit. It's lit, okay? Go to Kennesaw. It's dope. Um, by the way, I love your videos, and I have been a part of the area army since you started. Back then, there was no area army. Run, you're for that you're like a first soldier bruh love you you dope bruh you're dope okay so the next um question is did you have a bully 
How did you stay focused in, oh, y'all hit me with the multiple questions, bro. So the first question is, did you have a bully? In high school, no, nobody bullied me because I wasn't about to let that happen. I don't even think I came off as a person that could be bullied because people say that I have a natural mean mug. So, no, that didn't happen. How did you stay focused in class? Like I said, I wasn't focused or, or focused on class until like second semester, sophomore year. And that was because I started hanging around people and started being in classes like honors and AP classes with people that actually cared about their work. And that had an effect on me. So I started to care about my work because I didn't want to be the person in the class with the bad grade. Like, no. People was in class mad about 90s talking about I should have got a 100 on this. And I was over here looking at my B like, dang. I did bad on this. Like, she's over here crying about a 90 and I'm over here happy about a B. Something ain't right here. I just stayed focused in class by just knowing that I wanted to make myself proud. And I didn't want to disappoint myself or my parents in the long run. So, yeah. I feel like focus and determination and dedication, that all comes within you. You have to want things for yourself. You gotta want it. Go get it. What was the worst thing that happened? I ain't have any bad things really that happened in high school. Um, what was the best thing that happened in high school? graduation that was the best thing getting up out of there because honestly i did not like high school yeah i didn't even enjoy high school because there were, there was a lot of immaturity and gossip and i don't like that i don't like to surround myself with people that are like that so i didn't enjoy high school i love college way more than high school people come to college talking about when they miss high school i've been looking at them like bruh you really miss that you really miss being treated like a kid by teachers you really wish um like i feel like even though I started out high school immature, I outgrew high school so fast. Okay, so here we have a lot of questions. I'm gonna try to speed through these fast as possible. Oh wait, I already answered this. Um, I already answered what's the best thing. Um, do you think getting into a relationship in high school is necessary? No, it's not necessary, but actually I do believe it is helpful. A lot of people may disagree saying that getting into a relationship in high school is a distraction, but I actually think that it prepares you for college because you know, you'll know you know how to balance a relationship in schoolwork. That's what you'll learn how to do it. And if you can learn how to do that in high school, then when you go to college, you won't freak out when you all of a sudden are talking to a boy now. You're like, oh my God, I got to put all my schoolwork aside and talk to this dude because this is my first dude I've ever talked to and all this and all that. You know, I feel like it's a good training ground for that, so. I, I think it's a good idea if you have the opportunity to date someone to, and you actually like them to do so. Would you say that you have a small group of friends? Yes, my circle is like itty bitty bitty simply because I don't fit in with a lot of people and not a lot of people think like me. And I don't trust easily so that's why I have a small group of friends. Would you say that you were more introverted or extroverted? I was actually very extroverted in high school. Well, I wasn't very extroverted, but I wasn't an introvert, if that's what I'm saying. Like, I knew how to talk to people. It's just that I chose when I wanted to. I wasn't the loud person in the lunchroom. Let me put it like that. I was chilling. I was talking here and there, but I, I don't consider myself an introvert. Did you ever go to parties a lot? No. Like I said, my parents are straight. I probably went to like one or two parties. <laughs> Next question is, did you ever take AP classes? Um, yes, like I said, I took like eight. Um, if you did, did you ever take the application test? Yes, I did take the test and I didn't do well on any of them. Um, the AP test, they were just crazy hard to me for some reason. I just didn't do well. I mean, obviously I'm not dumb or anything like that. I just didn't do well in the AP test. Obviously I'm capable of doing well in a college class, you know? They say, oh, you don't score this score on the AP test, then you're, you're not capable of like, you don't know the material for a college course yet. No, that's not true. I don't know, it's it's like the teachers for AP classes, they don't even teach you the material in the class. They shove stuff in your brain just so you can pass the AP test. When I'm sitting there in the class trying to actually learn the material, understand it for myself, I really need to be memorizing stuff so I can pass the AP test. And that's why I feel like I didn't do good on the AP test. So, I really don't even recommend AP classes. I recommend if your school offers IB courses to take them because if you do well in an IB course, then you add my, then, uh, then you automatically get the college credit. You know what I'm saying? Somebody said, so I graduated high school in 2017, holla, but would you say high school teachers, high school teaches you a lot of life lessons? No, not really. I don't think high school really teaches you. Like in college, I've learned so many life lessons. I'm a different person. I'm a totally different person than what I was when I first started college. I'm different, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see the maturity in my vlogs, how it shifts from moving day but I'm way more mature. I feel like college just teaches you way more life lessons. Obviously it does because now you're full blown adult, gotta take care of your own stuff, gotta pay your own bills, get your own groceries, do your own thing. Nobody's telling you to do your homework, you just gotta do your homework. Nobody's telling you to go to class, you just gotta go to class. 
So it's a lot of self-taught things that you learn when you're in college, but in high school, your teachers are telling you, study, do your homework, um, give your parents your progress report and have them sign it and bring it back. See, that doesn't happen in um, college. So I feel like a lot of life lessons aren't really learned in high school. Did you ever fall into peer pressure? Yes, I have fell into peer pressure. One of the biggest mistakes of my life. Um, I've learned from it though. But that's a story for another time. Would you say that the teachers there are helpful? Yes, at Kennesaw, the teachers are helpful. They do, you know, high school teachers be like, in college, the teachers aren't gonna care whether you fail or pass. I mean, they don't care if you fail or pass, but they want you to pass. Like, professors care about their pass fail rates, bro. So they they want you to pass. They're gonna if you come to a professor looking determined, like you want to do well in class, like you want that A, you're gonna get that A because the professors want to see you win, bro. I mean, there are I'm pretty sure there are professors out there that don't care to see you win. I haven't had a professor like that yet, but professors want to see you win, bruh. Did anyone at, at school ever have any beef with you? Yeah, like I said, people did, but who cares? Um, were teachers at your school ever extra? In high school, yes, they were extra. Talking about you can't go to the bathroom. How do you deal with the issue that thought you were friends with a lot and then all of a sudden they kind of drift away? You ever, you ever need if you just met the person? So how, basically, are you asking like, how do you deal with someone you thought you were really good friends with and then all of a sudden y'all just start to drift apart. Um, you can ask them like, is everything okay with them? Like, are y'all still friends? Or you can um, just let them drift. I think communication is key to every relationship. Um, and the, their last thing they said is, by the way, I love you so much, girl. You are amazing AF. Um, and I hope that you continue YouTube. I'm thinking about starting a YouTube channel um, at some point and I want to know what type of camera you use and how do you do all the editing with stuff music and background stuff um, That's a lot. I think that would be have to be a whole separate video I put a lot of stuff in my description y'all so read my description, um, but I use the t5i to film and I My ring light is my lighting bird and that's how I do my junk. Yeah, guys, that is it for the questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on my high school experience. I hope this video wasn't too long, and I also hope that it gave you some insight as to who I am, because I did gain a lot of subscribers recently, and um, a lot of y'all are just really learning about me. So, yeah, shout out to my new subscribers. I love you guys. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new, because the Airy Army is on the come up, and we're taking over YouTube one video at a time. Always remember, don't just stay blessed. I'm out. Bye!